So thank you so much to volunteering to make flowers to help with our Hawaiian murder mystery. Really appreciate it. Um, so the first thing I want to do is think about the colors that you want. What color do you want in the middle and what do you want for the rest of the flower? So for this flower, I'm going to do a white middle. So I'm going to take one sheet of paper and just cut it in half to use for my center of my flower. And again, these flowers are very forgiving, so don't worry if you cut a little unevenly or have a little jagged edges, it'll still work out just fine. Then this is the one I'm gonna use for my outer flower. So I'm taking two layers of tissue paper and lying them together, and then I'm gonna fold them in half. Okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna lay this piece on top. So this will be the center of my flower, will be the white. And then I'm going to accordion pleat. So take this and fold it back and forth. And again, this doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. It's about an inch each one or so. And if you have any Girl Scouts in your family, I'm sure you've already done this <laughs> type of flower before. Here we go. Okay. So now I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold it in half so I know where my center is and so my flower will be even. I'm going to crimp it here so I know where the half is. And then I'm going to take a pipe cleaner and attach it around to anchor the middle. And then I'm going to trim the ends to make them look pretty. So I'm just going to take my scissor and make a nice little rounded Ends. And this will also take care of the fact that we folded a piece in half. This will separate those layers. Let's trim that a little bit more there. There we go. And now comes the slightly tedious but fun part where you get to see what your flower is going to look like. So we're simply going to pull the layers apart. So pulling my inner layer out first to make my center here. And again, if you get a little tear or something, please don't worry about it. The overall effect will work just fine even if it's not perfect. Okay, there we go. And now I'm gonna go ahead and separate all the other layers out. And so as I'm separating, it will come together. You don't need to staple the ends together. It will naturally fill itself out. I'm just gonna keep going on around. And if you want to see what the finished product will look like, I have one right here. So when you're done pulling it all apart, this is what you should have. Thank you so much.